So Christian, uh, welcome to St Helens, uh, new head coach. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm really excited actually. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here and uh, to finally sort of get over here and uh, meet all the all the staff today. And um, looking forward to meeting all the players and um, get get to work. And I must start with obviously the success you've had with Tonga in the, the last couple of weeks. Firstly, that win over Great Britain, and then um, Australia. You know, the first Tier Two nation I think to be Tier One nation. You must have been proud of that. Yeah, really proud of them. Um, they're a terrific group of people, and uh, yeah, it obviously means a lot to them to, uh, to play for Tonga. And uh, they show that every time they put the jersey on, and it's great to be involved with. So, uh, really enjoyable couple of weeks. I suppose. I mean, a lot of Saints fans who follow rugby league, your diehard fans, that they'd know exactly who you are. But there might be a few that perhaps hadn't heard of who you are and what your background is. And I suppose it's it was a blessing in disguise. Really, they would have been they would have been disappointed that Great Britain lost. But the fact that the Tongan head coach was is going to be the Saints head coach, you know, must have been a nice little way to, for you to introduce yourself to some of the fans. I actually um, got to meet a few Saints fans while I was over there, which was uh, really good at both at the game and uh, at one of the pubs afterwards as well. So. Um, it was great they come up and said hello, and um, yeah, they were uh, they were really sort of passionate about the club, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to meeting the fans here as well. And as well as the fans, I believe you met obviously a couple of the Saints lads who were playing for Great Britain, and uh, and some of the academy boys as well while you were over in Australia. That must have been good. Yeah, it was really good. I caught up with uh, the four boys that are involved in the in the Great Britain side, and had a coffee with them, and had a chat about the club, and um, they were really good fellows, and it was really good to meet them, and. Uh, obviously got a, the opportunity to meet the academy guys as well. Uh, they actually came to a Tongan training session and, and watched us train and uh, caught up with them afterwards. So that was a good little introduction too. And you've obviously met a number of the staff today. You've met your assistants, you know, Paul Wellens, Richard Marshall, uh, Ian Talbot, obviously over in Australia, and Matty and, uh, and Nathan Mills as well. You must be looking forward to working with the team, eh? Yeah, very much so. They all come with um, you know, really good reputations and uh, everyone I've spoken to can't speak highly enough of them actually. So I'm really looking forward to working with them. and. Um, you know, trying to follow on from this success of this year, obviously. And obviously, you've come over to St. Helens, but you, you had a great role over in the NRL. And what was it that kind of enticed you to come here and, and, and join this club? Oh, look, I've always had a desire to come over here and, and test myself over here, and you know, obviously, um, you know, watch a bit of Super League and, and realise it's a slightly different style of football to what we play in the NRL. And uh, obviously, to get that opportunity with a club like St. Helens and the history of St. Helens and the, the history of success. Um, yeah, it was really, really appealing. So uh, something I'm, as I said at the start, really looking forward to doing. And obviously the club won its first Super League Grand Final since 2014 last year. Does that add to any more kind of pressure for you personally coming into that? It does. Um, yeah, when you come, come to a club like St Helens, there's always pressure. There's a, an expectation of some success and uh, it does add to that a little bit. But uh, you know, it's all part of the challenge and, and again, something I'm looking forward to. And I suppose on the flip side, it means, you know, a successful team last year, a successful club, probably doesn't need too much changing in a way. Is it a case of you kind of coming in, assessing what's the current, you know, state is and then potentially impl implementing your style of coaching on, on the boys in this team? Yeah, 100%. There's obviously not a lot of need for change. There's a lot of things being done well already and, uh, you yeah, know, the same staff are in place. So what, what we've got to do is find ways to be a little bit better than what we were last year. The competition's going to get stronger. You have a look at um, you know, what clubs like Wigan and Warrington and Leeds have recruited, um, Catalans. The competition is certainly going to be stronger, so we need to find ways to be a little bit better. But at the same time, uh, things aren't broken, so uh, it's just about building on what's already been done. Is it too early to, uh, to, t to tell us what you, you see this team can improve, or is it, you know, is it too early for that at the moment? Oh, it's probably too early. I, I certainly need to meet all the players and um, get a bit of an idea of what their strengths are before I can talk about that. Have you set yourself, coming into this role, have you set yourself kind of any personal targets or targets that you'd like to achieve here as, as head coach? Uh, obviously I want to follow on with the success. Um, it's, it, the club's got a very good history of success and uh, I want to make sure that I bring the same success. So uh, uh, it's a little bit soon to be sort of talking about targets, but um, that, that's certainly certainly the goal. And sort of as a coach, what can the players and, and the St Allen's fans, what can they expect from, from Christian Moore? Uh, look, I'd like to think that um, we're, we're going to bring a really tough brand of footy, um, you know, one that uh, follows on with the attacking tradition but brings a really tough sort of uh, brand of footy where we're, we're competing hard all the time and in the contest all the time and um, you know, from what I see that's, that's part of St Helens anyway and something I'd certainly like to continue and build on a little bit more. And finally, do you have a message? What's your message for, for the St Helens fans that Come January the 31st, with our first home game, they'll be packing out the stadium. What's your message for them going forward? 
Oh, look, I'm really looking forward to meeting all the fans and um, you know, I've, I've heard nothing but great things about, uh, about St Helens and about the club and I'm um, just really looking forward to being a part of it. Brilliant, Christian, good luck. No worries, thank you.